Hey, I just wanted to show you guys the different supplies that I use to take care of Ebonine day to day and also share with you how I manage to save money here and there. So this bunny kit comes with a cage, food, bedding, a food bowl, a water bottle, a treat, and a bunny toy. Um, at my pet store it was like 70 or 80 bucks which is crazy. So I went on walmart.com and I got it for about $40. So that pretty much cut the price. So I in found half. this litter box at my local thrift store for a dollar, which is a really good deal because I think your average litter box from Walmart is going to cost about $10. One other thing that you could do is look at um, dishwashing pans, you know, those plastic boxes that you soak dishes in in your sink. That's pretty much um, a good size in shape for a litter box for your bunny. I think also Dollar Tree might even sell them, but they might be a little small. It all depends on the size of your bunny, but that's also another tip in case you didn't want to spend ten dollars for just regular box. small animal bedding for her litter. Um, I don't want to use cat litter because I know that'll cause respiratory issues um, in my bunny because it's usually like sandy or powdery. Also you want to stay away from pine bedding. I'm pretty sure you've already heard that that can also cause respiratory issues. Um, this specific bedding that I use lasts me about a month at most. I would say three or four weeks it lasts me and it's about six bucks. Also, I have two bags because I was at another thrift store the other day and I saw that they had a bag for 50 cents. Um, so, I part of Eponine's right. diet is Timothy hay. I get this hay from Walmart for $7 and the first bag lasted her a month. The second bag lasted her two and a half weeks and we're on her third bag now. So, as you can see, she's eating more since she's growing. One other tip I heard is you can try going to one of your local farmers that you know um, has Timothy hay and see if you can cut a deal with them. Um, they could probably give you a lot more hay for a lot cheaper of a price, but you have to make sure that you I store get it these kitty litter pan liners from Dollar Tree for one dollar. Um, you get ten in a box and they are so convenient and so sanitary. Whenever I clean out um, Eponine's litter box, I just, you know, pull the bag out and throw it this in the trash. pretty much how much bedding I put in her litter box every time I change it. Um, I put the liner in there and then I pour the bedding in there. Um, and then I put her hay in there and then like two seconds later she hops in and starts munching away. I'm pretty sure that half of her life so is I got spent these in food and water bowls from the same thrift store for a dollar. Um, they're pretty durable and they're nice and heavy and I actually had to um, switch them. The smaller one used to be her water bowl and the bigger one used to have her pellets but since she's growing and drinking more water I just switched them out and so now she drinks out of the bigger one um, and I'll, I'm actually starting to up her the amount of pellets that she gets a day. Um, hopefully that'll help me save money on hay but I'm also doing it because now that she's um, her digestive system is used to pellets um, there's no chance of it like disrupting or anything. Um, the choice of pellets is up to you, whatever you think um, is most healthy. You want to go with um, the better quality pellets, even though you might save money on less quality pellets. This um, will determine how long your bunny lives pretty much and how healthy she is. This contraption that you see here is actually a non-electric vacuum. I use it pretty much every day um, to pick up stray poops or um, hay, you know, that gets on the ground or bedding that sticks to her butt that like falls onto the ground. Um, I use it every day to keep my floor nice and clean and I actually got it from the thrift store for seven dollars and I'm pretty sure um, if you really wanted to you could go searching through thrift stores and find I'm trying one. I'm to teach her how to walk on a leash so I got this leash from the same thrift store for a dollar and I crocheted the harness myself. I found a pattern online and I can put that in the links bar and I also used those two rubber bands to um, help adjust it because she's still um, a baby, I guess, and she's not quite full grown, so I have to adjust That's it in order for That's pretty much everything that I used to take care of Eponine. Um, I think I did a pretty good job on saving money. Um, I hope that this was very informative and that it helps you, and I hope that the tips help you out. As you can see, I got a lot of the stuff from um, Dollar Tree and thrift stores. Um, I actually have a local thrift store that um, is connected to the Humane Society. The proceeds from the thrift store go towards um, helping other animals. So that's why I found, happened to find a lot of pet supplies at that thrift store. I'm sure that there's probably a local thrift store um, in your town that does the same thing. You just got to go hunting, you know, and if you keep at it, you will find 
pretty much all the supplies that you need. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye!